these are original animal stories. Long, long ago, in a faraway time, the moon watched over all the animals at night. Oh, it was a very important job, and the moon was very good at it. But there was one problem. He was so lonesome. You see, there were no nocturnal animals. Those were the animals that were sleeping all day and up all night. And long, long ago, in a faraway time, there were no animals for him to talk to at night. Now, of course, there were the stars. There were hundreds of stars all in the sky. But back then, they were very vain. In fact, all they did was twinkle, giggle, and sing about themselves. Their favorite song was, twinkle, twinkle, all us stars, we are beautiful, yes we are. High above the clouds so high, we are diamonds in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, all us stars, we are beautiful, yes we are. And they didn't have time for that big, round, orange ball, as they called the moon. And then there was the wind. Oh, the wind was awful. He was up morning till night, and when he would gush by, he would say, I haven't got time to talk to you. I haven't got time to talk to you. I'm blowing east. I'm blowing west. I haven't got time to talk to you. And so the poor, poor moon was so lonesome. Now one evening, just before all the animals settled in for the night and the forest was almost quiet, Mother Owl was straightening up her new abandoned nest. Oh, owls don't build nests. They just move into other birds' nests or in holes in the tree or even holes in the ground. She had a large nest because Mrs. Crow had moved out with her eight children. And so she only had two children. She tucked one under one wing and one under the other wing. And she hooted softly until she heard their soft snores. It had been such a long day and she was so tired, she finally closed her eyes and went to sleep. Now late that night, for some strange reason, one of those baby owls woke up. He peeped from under his mother's wing. He saw his mother and his sister were still asleep. He was curious, so he wiggled and crawled from under his mother's wing, and he looked up into the night sky. <sighs> Look at all those stars, and the moon is big and bright and shiny. He hopped up on the edge of that nest, and he stretched his wings out and said, I can fly! Just then a gush of wind caught him and he soared up in the air. He was surprised and then he began to flap his wings as hard as he could. He was flying, he was flying, he was flying up, 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 down, down, down. And he kept flapping and flapping. Wee! I'm flying, he said. And he flew and he flew into the dark, dark forest and his wings became heavy, heavy, heavy and he knew he was tired. He had to land but it was so dark he could only make out the shadows of the trees and then he saw a large tree ahead of him and he saw a branch and he landed with a thud. He took a deep breath and then he realized this isn't fun, it's dark. Where's my mama? Oh, who, who, who? Mama, mama, mama. And mama didn't come. Who, who, who? Mama, mama, mama. And tears welled up in his eyes. They slowly went down his face. Now the moon had seen all of this. The moon had watched the wind carry this little owl deep into the dark forest. He was a kind moon, so he sent down moonbeams and it lit up the trees. Now it was dark all around, but the little owl could see. 
And then the moon came down, and the little owl began to back up. He didn't know what this thing was coming down for, and he backed up. And the moon saw him backing up, and he stopped, and he said, Don't be afraid. I'm going to watch over you all night long. The little owl was so afraid, he turned his back to the moon so he didn't have to look at him. And he stayed that way, as though he was a child in a corner. Well, the moon didn't say anything. The little owl didn't say anything. And finally, the little owl turned around, and in this burst of energy, he said, if I was big and bright and shiny like you, I'd stay up all night too. And from that point on, the moon and the owl began to talk. Now, of course, the moon did much more of the talking because the little owl's only experience is, was in a nest. So he didn't have anything to really talk about. But he was a great listener, and the moon talked on and on and on. And finally, the moon realized that he could see a hint of gray on the horizon, and he knew it was almost time for him to leave. He said to the little owl, I must be leaving you soon. Oh, please don't leave me. I don't want to be alone. Oh, you'll be fine, he said. I'm going to leave you two moonbeams. You put one in this eye and one in this eye, and you will be able to see as though it was the brightest part of the day. Sure enough, the moon left, and the little owl watched him leave high in the sky. And then the little owl put one moonbeam in this eye, another in this eye. He blinked, and he blinked, and he blinked, and when he opened his eyes the third time, he had big, round eyes that glowed like the moon. And you know, from that day to this, most owls have big, round eyes that glow like the moon. Now, a lot of other animals decided, hmm, I'd rather sleep in the day, and I'd like to be up all night. So from that day to this, there are nocturnal animals, and the moon, the moon isn't lonesome anymore. And over the eons, the stars have learned not to be vain anymore, but the wind, the wind hasn't learned anything. And if you listen very closely, you'll hear him going by saying, I haven't got time to talk to you. I haven't got time to talk to you. I'm blowing east. I'm blowing west. I haven't got time to talk to you. In that same vein, I always ask the kids, what sound does a frog make? Ribbit. Well, there's this little frog that I met. There was a little frog who went quack, quack, quack. You see, he wanted to be a duck. So he quack, quack, quack. His mother said no, and he said oh. But still he went quack, quack, quack. Now the same little frog went moo, moo, moo. You see, he wanted to be a cow, so he moo, moo, moo. His mother said no, and he said oh. But still he went Moo, moo, moo. Now the same little frog went oink, oink, oink. You see, he wanted to be a pig, so he oink, oink, oink. His mother said no, and he said oh. But still he went oink, oink, oink. Now the same little frog went buck, buck, buck. He wanted to be a chicken, so he buck, buck, buck. His mother said no, and he said oh. But still he went. Buck, buck, buck. Now the same little frog went hoot, hoot, hoot. You see, he wanted to be an owl, so he hoot, hoot, hoot. His mother said no, and he said, oh, but still he went hoot, hoot, hoot. Now the same little frog went hopping along. You see, he hopped and hopped so far from home. Nighttime fell, his mother said, Oh, cause the darling little frog was not at home. Where in the world could he be? Said the frog's mother sadly. I only wish that I had learned to listen to his sound was a major concern. If I find him safe and sound, I'll always cherish his 
very strange sound. Then the mother frog went quack, quack, quack. And all the ducks came when she quack, quack, quack. And the mother frog went moo, moo, moo. And all the cows came when she moo, moo, moo. And the mother frog went oink, oink, oink. And all the pigs came when she oink, oink, oink. And the mother frog went buck, buck, buck. And all the chickens came when she buck, buck, buck. And the mother frog went hoot, hoot. And down came a great barn owl with a hoot. All the animals gathered around to hear why the mother frog was so alarmed. Then the mother frog said, hear my plea. Won't you please help me find my froggy baby? All the animals went far and wide, searching for that frog baby, hoping he's alive. And the great barn owl flew mighty high, searching for that frog baby, hoping he'd find. And the great barn owl looked, looking by, he spied that baby frog, much to his surprise. And the great barn owl said, hoot. Hoot. And the baby frog said, hoot, hoot. The great born owl said, hoot, 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 hoot. And the great born owl swooped right on down. He carried that baby frog back to his mother's arms. When all the animals saw that frog, all carrying that baby frog safe and sound and all the animals began to cheer and this is how they did their cheer now everybody say hoot 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 i said everybody say hoot 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 everybody say hoot 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 Hoot, hoot, hoot. Now the moral of the story is very clear. Learn a foreign language is a must, my dears. But more important than that, helping one another is where it's at. Now everybody say hoot, hoot, hoot. I said everybody say hoot, hoot, hoot. Everybody say hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, 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 hoot. Ooh, thank you.